Hello, this is Mike Fisher, and I want to talk about World War III. This is my very first speaker studio uh, show. And, yeah. Well, Saudi Arabia got attacked from Iran, Houthi rebels. Iran says they have nothing to do with it, but we all know the Houthi rebels are supported by Iran, and that Iran backs them, and they back terrorists in the Gaza Strip and in Lebanon go against Israel. But Iran swears up and down they didn't do anything, and that's a lie. Now Donald Trump is sending troops over to Saudi Arabia and the UAE. To basically be as defense, he says. But, yeah. Now, what, what uh, Iran will do about this, I have no idea. Probably attack them. And in that case, then Iran will be flattened on the face of the earth. Because the United States, Israel, and Saudi Arabia, along with Britain will attack Iran. But then you got to worry about Russia, China. Russia and China because Russia and China have Iran's back. So, that's the only problem we have if we attack Iran. Three nuclear, two nuclear powers that will defend Iran down to the very last man. And, yeah. It's going to get interesting soon. Um, wars and rumor of wars. It says in the Bible that there will be wars and rumor of wars, and that's where we're at. But the big one might be very soon, because Saudi Arabia wants to attack Iran. They're waiting on the last of the investigations to attack them. And... It'll probably be a very big, big ass attack on the state of Iran, and it'll bring the whole Middle East into it, not just Iran. It'll be Israel, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Lebanon, Gaza, Egypt, probably India, Pakistan, then China and Russia will get in it. The U.S., Britain. United Kingdom, Ukraine, Venezuela, Mexico to be all over the world. All over the world. Because we're talking World War III. Once that hits over there, all hell will break loose from Iran over to here. And in the case we get invaded, which could happen, don't say it never will happen, it could happen. Look at Pearl Harbor, we got attacked by the Japanese in Hawaii. That was almost like an invasion. They could have invaded the West Coast if they wanted to. The same day. But they didn't. Think about it. And on 9-11 we got attacked by New York City. Who's to say that that's not going to happen again? Who's to say that we're not going to get attacked and possibly invaded? Because Iran's got proxies all over the world. And if they want to get them going, say, hey, I just make one phone call. Oh, there you go. Proxies all over the United States will unload on every civilian. Every civilian. Don't think that you're don't think that it's not gonna it, it couldn't happen because it could we're not safe we're safe but we're not safe everybody thinks that war's not gonna happen everybody just goes on with their day and they sit there they eat their GMOs and they drink their fluoride water and they th act like everything's alright but in, it's not it's not at all. And on one side, you got people that are awake and know what's going on. On the other side, you got brainwashed people. 
There's people in the middle that don't even give a fuck about their own lives. Seriously. They just go on and listen to both sides like... <laughs> it's not right versus left. It's... Everybody needs to wake up before this actually happens. Because if not, then our country's not going to be unified. And then what do you get? If you get invaded and you're not unified... Everybody's not going to stand up for each other. What well, could take that to get us all unified again, but... I mean... What is it going to take? You got right versus left. To try to start a race war. Which... Would never happen. Because... Most black people are awake or... <clears throat> they're on Donald Trump's side, so... But... Well, I was, yeah, let's get, I'm, I'm off, I'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere that I don't need to be, I'm talking about where, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what I think is that if we attack Iran, Russia's going to be on our asses, or they could back off, they could back off, say, fuck this, I am not going to attack the United States, this will lead to a world war, a nuclear war, and we do not need to do it, but... If Iran says, fuck this, and starts shooting nukes at Israel or Saudi Arabia or United Arab Reverence, then we got fucking problems. The whole world does. It only takes a flip of a, a, flip of a switch or button and everybody's fucking gone. That's all it takes. So, I don't know if we're going to push Iran to that point, because if we do, it's a mistake. These sanctions, are they're not going to... They're not going to give a fuck anymore. You keep putting sanctions and sanctions and sanctions. It's a war tactic to get them to fucking attack. But, and they did. Saudi Arabia, but we don't need them to attack us. Because if that happens, you know what the fuck's going to happen, right? We're going to go in there and we're going to invade that motherfucker. And you're going to have Russia and China on our asses. And that's what we don't need. Nobody needs war, but that's what, we're getting to that point. It's getting there. Uh, I mean, in the Bible it says that everybody will come against Israel and show out to defend herself against everybody. Syria, Iran, but I think we're going to the way where the United States goes against Iran, and Iran's going to defend itself against everybody, but yeah, either way, Israel's got our back, we got Israel's back, we got Saudi Arabia's back, we got all of our allies back. Japan, South Korea, Australia, United Kingdom, Britain, we got all their backs. They got our backs, but Germany, but it's going to be one hell of a battle. One hell of a battle. And you just got to stop and think, what's it going to take to not get to that point where we go to war? What, what, what can we do? <laughs> Pretty much, as the way it looks, nothing. It's going to happen. Regardless if you're sitting... If you hide under a desk, you hide under a desk. It's just going to happen. But... Yeah. That's where we're heading to. World War Three. And we got to watch Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Israel. Because Saudi Arabia and Israel bombed a Iranian base on the Iraq and Syria border together. It was like F-15s, F-35s. They bombed it with them. And it was a pretty badass attack. Now that's... Uh, I, I remind you that that's not the response from the oil attacks. 
the, on the refineries in Saudi Arabia. That's not the response. The response is going to be huger than that. If they attack Iran for that, it is going to be huge. Not an invasion of Iran, but the bomb K, a bomb raid as the biggest bomb raid you've probably ever seen. Now, it could be us, the U.S., Israel, and Saudi Arabia doing it. But we could step back and let Saudi Arabia and Israel bomb them and be defense like the troops are being sent there for. We can have our ships in the ocean and in the Persian Gulf to be defense. Like if, let's say, Russia come over with their jets from Syria or something. We could scramble jets in to protect Saudi Arabia and Israel's jets if they bomb our Um, Yeah. That's where we're going to. World War Three. You have to be stocked up on food. You got to get water going. Because this can happen today or tomorrow. Or the next day. You don't know. But they are thinking of a response to attack Iran. They want to attack them. Get payback. Who doesn't? Who doesn't want to get payback with somebody that attacks you? And everybody's worried about it. Oh, Trump's done this. Oh, Trump did that. Well... If you send it to Congress, what's Congress going to say? We ain't going to war. They let Iran get away with it all. Now, Putin's cracking jokes. Oh, you should have bought the Russian defense system. And he wouldn't have got attacked. Cracking jokes like that. So we so we sold ours, more of ours to Saudi Arabia. And we sent our troops over to make sure it works right. <laughs> and then we got us cracking jokes at Russia saying, you bombed your own people and shit like that. So yeah, it's getting bad. And all the protests in Hong Kong, China's supposed to send in its military to attack the protesters. Watch, if that happens, we could be going to war with China too, which we are going to. I'm just saying, nobody knows that's going to happen, too. So, like, you got three, you got Iran, China, and Russia, versus the United States, Britain, Saudi Arabia, and Israel. Venezuela's on Russia and China's side. Watch that. Did get heated down there, too. Where we could invade. And, yeah. The whole world's going nuts, basically. And it only takes one one, one bombing or mess up by somebody and all the oh, hell, hell will break loose. So we bombing raids and everybody, everybody will attack and everybody, it just won't stop. And when we get to that point... Then, God save us all. Because Jesus Christ is returning. And, if it takes a world war to get him here, then, I guess that's what's going to have to happen. But, yeah. All hell could break loose today or tomorrow. Or the next day. Or a week from now, we don't know. But we do know they're going to get payback for that. They already got... Cyber attacks on Iran. They already did cyber attacks and everything, so yeah. Until next time, this is Mike Fisher. Peace out, Speaker Radio.